Hi guys, this is Steven with AffiliateMarketingDiary.com. Thank you very much for watching this video. In this video, I will actually uh, show you guys how to create a blogger blog from scratch. Very simple procedure. As it says, create the blog in three easy steps. So let's go ahead and uh, just click on this button and uh, fill out the pro appropriate data. So uh, uh, just uh, use an email address here and uh, retype that in there like that just like that and uh, i recommend that your password has some letters and some numbers in it that way you get the strong password strength a uh, display name can be whatever you want it to be and um, make sure you enter the captcha here properly accept the terms of service and click on continue Okay, uh, now you get to step two, name your blog. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use this, my exercise blog. It's like That's always my example here. Again, just my exercise blog. Check availability. It is available. Make sure that you uh, enter the word verification, the capture here pro properly. And then just click on continue. Once you've done this, you get to choose a template. And it doesn't really matter what you choose right now. So, uh, but I recommend, uh, you know, just keep it at where it's at. Just click on continue. And uh, it's been created. Start posting. Now, we're not going to go ahead and start posting right away here because uh, we do want to change some things in the template. So, let's go ahead and do that first. Go ahead and click on template. Brings you to this uh, page elements area. And uh, we're not going to look at that quite yet. Just go ahead and uh, click on pick new template which allows you to actually pick uh, new templates. Go figure. Generally speaking, I uh, prefer to choose templates that have a um, menu or navigation and everything on the right-hand side for a couple of reasons. Number one, I think it looks a little slicker. And secondly, uh, for advertising purposes, it's always nice to have uh, this uh, area here of a blog available for advertisements because it is the area that uh, your eyes are drawn to the most. So uh, let's just go ahead and pick one. I uh, actually, uh, there is one that I generally use. Now, uh, obviously, you, can, you guys can use whatever you want. I just prefer to use this particular one. Uh, it's this Mi Mr. Moto. I choose it because it's a cool name. <laughs> but uh, just go ahead and choose that one. Click on Save Template. And again, it's just the one that I prefer. Um, most of the times, so I actually change the header right here uh, to a custom header and uh, do some other things to it, which I will cover in a, uh, uh, another video, actually, on uh, more advanced tactics uh, when using Blogger. Let's go back to the page elements section here and uh, just uh, take a look at this uh, header section. You can just go ahead and uh, click on Edit. Let me just move this over here. Now, uh, this is your blog title, obviously. We chose that earlier. You can also type in a blog description. If you have a header graphic, uh, you can just go ahead and um, choose it from your computer or from the web if you already have it uploaded on your own server. Uh, you can also have it uh, placed behind the title and description. In other words, it will actually um, uh, display the text and everything on top of your header or you can just have it displayed in, instead of the title and description, which is what I generally do. And I'll illustrate that in a moment. Once you've added all those things, just uh, click on Save Changes. There are some other things here in terms of page elements on the right-hand side section here, which is your uh, navigation or menu area here. And uh, generally speaking, I do delete the About Me section. Unless you're trying to brand yourself and things like that, um, you might want to keep it there and write something about yourself, but generally speaking, I just remove the page element. Just click OK. It will delete. And as you can see, it's no longer uh, visible here. I will, however, add a page element, which is uh, AdSense. This is uh, Google's advertising. Uh, if you can't, for whatever reason, use AdSense, you can, of course, use something else. And I will show that as well, how you can embed that into your... Uh, uh, blog. Uh, if you do have an AdSense account, it's very easy to uh, do this in uh, Blogger. So just go ahead and add to blog. If you don't have an AdSense account, you can create one. Uh, if you already have one, you can just go ahead and enter it here. 
uh, with your zip code or your phone number. You can change the format here. Um, generally on the right hand side I'll use a vertically wide banner here. Uh, as you can see uh, this is using a blended template. You can also customize it. You can use uh, anything else, you know, match template, Mother Earth. I mean, you can use whatever uh, you want. It gives you an example on the preview down here. Uh, at the moment, I generally in the beginning will go with a blended template. And uh, just go ahead and save your changes. And now you see you have uh, this uh, added to your uh, uh, navigation section there on the right hand side. You can, by the way, switch these around if you wanted to. It's just uh, widgets, so you can just drag and change these just like in WordPress. The sidebar widgets in WordPress. Um, I generally also use the um, AdSense that you can add directly within uh, uh, this section here, blog post section, because that way I don't have to mess with the HTML in the template. I just click on edit. Uh, as you can see here, down towards uh, the bottom here, it says show ads between posts. Again, if you uh, don't have an uh, AdSense account, obviously this function is not available to you. But just go ahead and click on that. Uh, you can configure inline ads. Generally, I will set it to three or five, depending on how many posts that I have on the main page here. I generally keep it to seven to ten. If it's seven, uh, I generally set this up to show every three times. That way, actually, there's a very practical reason for that and it's simply um, because when you actually uh, have too many ads on the page uh, it will start subtracting ads from from your blog so uh, because you can only display three uh, Google AdSense ads at the time on uh, a single page so sometimes it will leave a huge white blank area let's say in your navigation area if there are too many uh, AdSense units down on uh, in your uh, uh, text area of your blog, your main body area of your blog. So again, you can uh, choose uh, this here, show uh, after every three posts. I generally choose a uh, large rectangle here, uh, blended template, and just go ahead and uh, save the changes. Once I've done that, generally, I will try to just go ahead and post something. Make sure you click on save, by the way, so it saves everything that you've done. Goes to the uh, posting section. I'm just going to just uh, type in some garbage here. And again. And then just go ahead and uh, add tags. Tags are really for the uh, blog search engines um, so that it can categorize your posts. So uh, generally speaking, if this, is, uh, this was about, uh, let's say, um, some kind of a uh, weight loss supplement, you might want to put weight loss supplement, maybe the brand, uh, some other relevant keywords in here. And uh, then just go ahead and uh, publish post. Okay, now that you've published, just go ahead and click on view blog. And as you can see, Testing this blog, this is the title, this is the body of the text, this is the blend of that below the text, this is um, obviously the AdSense unit in your na uh, navigation uh, area, sidebar if you will, and um, this is your uh, post right here, so you can go directly to your post, it's going to show pretty much the same thing. Just to show you an example of a blogger blog, uh, this is one that I set up a couple of days ago for my trend marketing case study. Uh, it's about movies and celebrities and things like that. And uh, as you can see here on the right-hand side, there's uh, the advertisement here. Uh, this is the body. I also embedded a YouTube video. Uh, you see the advertisements down here and all of my posts down here. And it just goes on and on. So uh, that's about it for uh, this particular video. I hope it was helpful. And I, I hope to see you guys again in my next video. In the interim, be sure to visit my blog at www.affiliatemarketingdiary.com. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon.